Okay, so last year NDC MPs so almost the bill be a court parliament. Bill on the court parliament, you know, uh, it was to prosecute any person or engage in trumu trumu. Na so did you have a chemi besa and ye bonu trumu trumu. Na trumu trumi uh michimu yanese or ba when you ba da bema when a bema da na bema ne bema da de no so who's a bema ne bema ne be ra be bia na ne se aha se wa wonti ne fini trumu trumu no na even far from that scra no sa trumu trumi e broad nti bro ni ni friend l g b t q i plus k a a a a in sida lesbian gay bisexual transgender queer intersex intersex again uh by se e be bre ni nya ne se nipa uh, or private life, so on the bear my bed, so on your boy bed, so be you both. Even if you want to refer yourself, say, Oh, yeah, computer crap, you are free to do it because bro, you know, the freedom of speech will be a, a do no no. So, book be by a na book no a kwama, your primary school, and I in yen me anomni and ban one more school, your sexual health education. Now, in there, no, they were teaching some of these things. I'm my NDC for uh, a push here, my ye books, ni you a ho. And which na almost the bill equal parliament so let's ban all of these LGBTQI from parliament because it prohibits and again uh, it doesn't like those things and as we don't append those things at least for now majority of the population are not in support of those things now I'll call about my bill net that finally bill no it could be a parliament near can once a man uh not both sides a dear no bill ne be musa ye be musa ye be musa ye too harsh e be musa ye too inhumane which means say uh, ano ye den say obi ye gay enchi ni tu enchi ni tu ni ambo ne debi debi eh wana esle wusu esu sorry ya eh na o o keke ka na adreni anasa o che na adreni say we need to do something about the bill at least gana ye kwe ni we nye 1800 and 1990 sa ebe ka say di obi ye wane dem no efa ye hon eh wane ye fre uh, MPB sorry ya yeah, hot mic because one kasi ngu my boy kasano a bad speaker ni a okase eslo usu or your practitioner of gay ya kwa wushu video yu ya sana mami nchew di inti MP ni kansa o kansa because some time ago no uh, eslo usu ba out ebe kase she herself she was in that box of lesbian some time ago because na scale school near that your coin be nyanko pardon with me if you might say and now as a testimony this is a testimony on my ss i didn't in your support and now and maybe a trim can ask on no for a forum and ho and no na ndc for be a dj now so i can say or a practitioner of true true gay which means yes i don't know or can one is just a single video of exchange of course for parliament uh in fact it nearly turned me to blues yeah and repeatedly heard Honorable Musala refer to me as a practitioner of LGBT. With the hearing of everyone in the house. I sat here and repeatedly heard him. Honorable Minister. Not at the top of his voice. Honorable. And referred to me as a practitioner of LGBT. And Honorable. every single last one of you is behaving as if you didn't hear it. Honorable. And then in response to that, I said he is mad. It is only a madman. Who will, who will refer to his colleague in this house as a practitioner of LGBTQ? When you haven't seen me having sexual intercourse with your wife or your daughter or your mother. Honorable When you haven't caught me having sexual intercourse with your wife or your daughter or your mother. Honorable you there and refer to me in those terms. In those terms. Honorable Minister. And we call ourselves honorable members of this house. When you all hear it and to say that suddenly you've lost your sense of hearing. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister, I beg of you, do me that honor. Please. Honorable Minister, I beg of you, just do me that on this, please. Just do me that on this. Mr. Speaker. Yeah. 
and repeatedly heard Honorable Musala refer to me as a practitioner of LGBT. That was a Yeye Niamba Eslowusu. She said that she sat there and an MP referred to her as a practitioner of LGBT just because she was trying to dissect and talk about the bill or more on person pass to a parliament, you have a prosecutor to be our bengage in LGBT activities. Now, in some of the no, a bit more a cancer, it is true because MP before almost soon or more buying shows their enablers of the LGBTQI community and their rights. And others too are saying, say, uh, the risk, the risks involved in signing this whole lgbt thing no, and outweighs the benefits we show me yeah you see sir young flippy boys and dc for now power and people push say change now yeah 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 for and breaking bread banning lgbt why because they are not in power and why because mpp if they are not in power and they are pushing for that bill they have nothing to lose in fact if the government loses it goes to the advantage because it becomes a money more idea so in this case if mpp Allows this bill to be passed. Remember, he said last year Kamala Harris a bargain, no? and I said earlier this year a bargain. No? The president said, "Say LGBT law, uh, uh, friends, a bill be a in Ghana, a be pass it. No, no, dear, on case my yen bani be be." The tune of the president was because hundred million dollars was on the table. In the work, case I nya bruni di nisika beko. No, he said Ghana nisika. So MPP is playing this card according to expert because if they push this bill, they will still, they, they, they will lose a whole lot of international funds, loans, and stuff. So they will do things in their power to go around the bill, not because they don't want it to be passed and they support LGBT, but still make the risk outweighs the benefit. Your country is abusing LGBT people in farm out. Paul Bibi Wawa was say the mawa donation grants and farm because say LGBTQI people are under persecution in your country. So that is why MPP is kind of playing playing this kind of tactics. And the NDC people understand it because Omu Nimi said if the bill passes, the government will lose a lot of things and it goes to the advantage, which means on my new my day no, you be experiencing times 10 because our loan ne grants ne certain petty petty things are for the money free yeah a band is also a whole trip and a whole trip it will never be some new corner definitely just pushed uh a slow to take a different stance on this approach that is because she's realized say, her political future is in jeopardy uh this i make us know is because um a slow we know Say, uh, yeah, she is likely to be Baumia's running mate. Uh, yeah, if Baumia wins the 2024 flag bearer and at the MPP flag bearer, she's likely to be the running mate. So, uh, right now, she's not just looking at the money Ghana will get because next year, 2024, your friend is saying, uh, we have an election and I say this year, crown no number flag bearer. Ship. So, she's looking at her political future. Say, okay, at the end of the day, you know, say, you need me, me say, me flag bearer, me a running mate of Baumia. How good would it be? And I say, would I get the support? Will people support me? People look at my accreditation and say, okay, am I worth it? It you know, based on this, I'm sure say Oslo also talk to herself. So she needs to take a stance before her political future is ruined. So we have one thing here, or sure, yeah, or can yeah, man for I say, I'm not interested in any sexual activity anybody indulges in the privacy in their own home. They say, and say, and find a home. But there are also another slide, a trimmer, another picture story like this, a trimmer. As Lousu basically was saying, say, uh, they are going to take a stance against people who are engaging in LGBTQI community. I think I saw it on Paul's trending on Facebook. I don't know if it's authentic or not. So this is the game as Lousu is playing, trying to be, be in a stand that should not hurt the donation and the loans and Sika government in if he abroad for one years and as a foreign donor so and also she looking at a political future after this government ends will she be a viable running mate or not we live to see we'll give you more updates as all of these various events unfold <laughs>